Hey, hey, folks. Goodness, it's been a while. <laughs> How have we all been? Today's topic is going to be about breakups. I didn't really make a video about this. I've been meaning to. It's been, it's, it's like just one of those things that you kind of just have to talk about, you know? <laughs> breakups. Stupid stuff, really, that happens in these things, you know? And I'll give some examples. What better examples than the ones of my own? The crap that I've experienced myself is the only real way that I can explain it, you know? Explain it. Breakups. Okay, one of the first ones, one of the breakups I had, and I'll go for my first one to just be legitimate, I suppose. My first breakup was pretty stupid. I dated a girl, and you know, it was my, my first girlfriend I ever had in person now, you know. I dated a whole bunch of girls long distance. First girl I've ever had in person. First girlfriend I ever dated. And, um, you know, things, it was that simple, like, school, high school love thing or whatever. It was so stupid. Like, she was giving me googly eyes. I didn't really even pay any mind to her. She was giving me googly eyes. And I would look here and there at her, and I'm like, ah, oh, you know, I was like, wow, oh, that girl's really checking me out. But I didn't want to seem conceited. I'm like, no way, no way she's checking me out, no. But turns out she was. So I take the initiative to go ask her out, and she says yes. And I was very shocked because I've never had that happen before. I've never had, that was my first girlfriend. I was like, wow, she actually said yes. So things seem to be going pretty well. You know, I'm young. This was like when I was in middle school. I wasn't really thinking about laying her on her back and plowing her with my meat stick, no. I was an 8th grader, and to all of you out there who was thinking about that 8th grade, shame on you. Things seem to be going nice where we talk and we do the little thing where you hold hands and you hold arms and, you know, it all goes well. And then, you know, I noticed something. She seems to play a lot of sad music at the bus stop often, and she seems to always be talking about feeling unappreciated and stuff, so I'm thinking I'm doing something wrong, right? I was like, well, I didn't really do many wrong things, and we've only been together for a little bit, so it's not much I could have done. And it turns out, she was dating me, or only said yes to me, which is the twisted part. She didn't even ask me out. Instead, she waited for me to approach her to use me to get her ex back. I'm just like, wow, really, you know? So, and this is when we're in 8th grade, or when I'm in 8th grade, she was younger than me. When I'm in 8th grade, I'm, I'm like... You know, I'm just like, wow. So I end up talking to her on the phone, and yeah, all I can say at the end of it, she was in tears, and I was saying, yeah, that's right, you deserve that. Yeah. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna make a couple more breakup videos. I figure I'll talk about all of my breakups. I'm gonna do it just like Scott Pilgrim versus the world, the breakup segments. Thanks for watching.